Welcome to another Gaz Right video. Welcome to Timor Lesse and welcome to G Dobbs country number 72. The team, we've rested, we've recuperated in the paradise that is Bali and now we're back on the road, back doing what we do best, exploring, getting into the thick of it um, and yeah, experiencing new cultures, new countries, hopefully some new food as well, which obviously if you follow the channel a little while, is uh, it's always a bugbear of mine, obviously being allergic to nuts, so I do have to be a little bit careful. But we digress from the point. You're probably thinking, Gaz, where is Timor Lesse? So it is called Timor Lesse or East Timor because it's the east side of the island of Timor. One side is Indonesia um, and one side is Timor Lesse. Um, so yeah, you go into the east of Indonesia, the north of Australia. Um, in terms of how to get here, you can only fly here from two places. One is Bali and the other one is Darwin in the north of Australia, which is perfect because we're going from Bali to Australia so we thought why not kill two birds with one stone and get another country in the old mixer so we got the flight over this morning it's about an hour and 20 hour and 30 minute flight fly with CityLink honestly these guys on real service super super friendly nothing but good words but a little bit of history because uh, I've done the reading so you don't have to. So they were under Portuguese occupation um, up till 1975 and then during World War II were under Japanese uh, occupation as well. Um, and then when the Portuguese moved out and they were under Indonesian rule then until 1999. Um, and it sounds like an absolute loose period in their history. We saw, we're talking mass killings um, over two decades. It's sort of like I was reading online, 200,000 people were killed. Um, do you know what I mean? Opposing the Indonesian rule. Um, the Indonesian rule kind of ceased in 1999. In 2002, the US um, or the UN, sorry, sanctioned that they're their own country. So obviously that is a pretty loose two decades. And then obviously, yeah, been a, a very young nation, um, just been knocking about um, for, yeah, about 22 years as we're now in 2024. Um, but yeah, because of the Portuguese rule, a uh, big Catholic um, religion over here um, and one of the kind of the main things to see is it's the second largest statue of Jesus in the world so Christ Redeemer being one in Rio de Janeiro and then two the one up on the old hill I'll whack the name on the screen now if I remember to do so and if not you'll see it in two vlogs time because it's Monday today and we're going to be going checking that out on Wednesday um, I have been told or I have researched and it is under construction um, or reconstruction because the Pope is actually coming uh, in September so they're getting it all tip top shape for the big man shout out the boys um, so yeah hopefully we can get up there I'll definitely take the drone so if we can't get up I can hopefully be able to fly the drone a little bit higher um, and then yeah we're hopefully going to go to Atoro Island uh, tomorrow which looks like this beautiful um, island it's about an hour an hour and 20 minutes uh, boat ride across from Dili the capital where we're stationed um, and yeah we're just talking turquoise waters we're talking tropical landscape um, but yeah there's no way to book it online I've messaged a few people and got we don't go we're not going the weather's too bad have you seen the weather at the minute it's like pure blue skies uh, 30 degrees so we spoke to somebody we just got to turn up at the port at 7 a.m tomorrow and they take us there and bring us back in at two o'clock so who knows if we'll make it but you know what i mean adventure getting yourself in the mixer getting yourself in uh in interesting situations always provides a good story um but if you are going to come here on the visa front if you're from the eu you're absolutely fine. You don't need a visa. You're straight in, no cost, no queues. If you're from the US, it's the exact same as well. No visa, no queues. If you're from the UK, the boys, the team, me and the king, uh, yeah, we had to wait. You're in like a massive long line, handwriting visas, because you can only do a visa on arrival. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, Brexit killing us day by day country by country it only gets worse uh, but yeah if you are going to come it's 30 dollars paid in cash so make sure you have cash because there's a few people who didn't um and yeah i think they've made them go outside and join the back of the queue, like get cash from outside the airport and then come back and join the back of the queue absolute carnage so yeah that's us we got here we're chilling there's a few hotels which are meant to be up to like i say western standards um 8.4 on booking.com it's probably one of the highest uh, that we could find uh so we're at the royal plaza um it used to be a prison um one of the lads who, who's been here i know kieran brian if you want some flair travel content go drop him a follow um on instagram but yeah he said it used to be a prison which probably speaks a lot uh, for the uh yeah the aesthetics of the place i've already recorded um a little 
video of our room so I'll add it on to the end of this but yeah it is an interesting setup to say the least um, but apparently there is a gym on the roof so I might be up there lifting a few of the old small weights around um, but yeah we're going to be getting stuck into it over the coming days if you enjoy what you see as always whack that subscribe button down below we're still on route to 2k subs I'll see you in the room tour baby peace room tour time so plaza hotel is where the team are denning in for the next three days the king does not come with the room however she did book it as always um 60 pounds a night so 30 each um you know what i mean it's nothing to write home about but you know on this channel we show you the good we show you the bad so if I just pan to Emmons, I was going to say the ugly then. So that is absolutely outrageous behaviour from me. But yeah, you've got a nice little living area, loads of space. Wi-Fi seems pretty decent. We do have aircon. We've got a TV. So hopefully we're going to be able to catch up on Heist of Dragons, which will be top draw. I'm not going to show you the bathroom because it looks a very serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer-esque. But it gets the job done. Nice little workstation for G-dubs. Whipping up the old YouTubes. I'm not sure where this paint is from. Could be a little Renaissance piece. Um, I'm just absolutely waffling at this point. But yeah. Space and Emma has informed me the bed is a 6 out of 10 on comfort. So that's not what you want to see, but it does have four pillows. One for the head, one between the legs. Don't sleep one between your legs, you're an absolute weirdo. Let's go! As you've seen, we're staying in a pretty interesting gaff, giving very much motel vibes in the middle of nowhere uh, in, uh, in America. So hopefully it'll do a job, get the old head down. Obviously when you're used to the luxury um, and silly prices of, uh, of, of barley in comparison to, to what you get, um, obviously yeah, it's a little bit more spenny, but do you know what I mean? just somewhere to get the head down um, and it does have air con. So you know what I mean? You can't have everything. Can't complain at that. Good little setup. But yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up here. Got the sun setting in the backdrop behind me. Um, obviously today's just a bit of a chill explore. Uh, me and Emma's had like a big walk up and down like the the front, I guess where the sea is. Um, I'd say it's not too far to walk, to be honest, like maybe like 20 minutes from one side to the other. There's a couple of boats. Um, I'd say they're all really chilled. And then there's this one like yacht slash catamaran. So I don't know, maybe they, uh, they're the big dogs in Dilly. That's who we need to get involved with uh, if we want to get on the, uh, <laughs> get to a Toro Island tomorrow. Um, but yeah, a couple, well, funny stories. So I got off the plane and somebody comes like, not running over, but they're moving at pace towards me with a camera, proper legit like DSLR camera, road mic on the front. I thought, here we go. They've, they've seen the YouTube, they've seen what's going on. Let's get him on there. Um, oh no, there was a big dog priest um, behind me. And I've never seen, like they got, got all like the, all the other priests from the, I guess wherever he's staying came to meet him uh, on the uh, on the on the on the runway. Ridiculous scene. So yeah, he's absolutely killing it. Whoever he is, um, hopefully we'll bump into him in a few days. Might be partial to a little beer wari. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed what you see, if you have any questions, bang it down in the comments. Respond to every single one. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be tuning back in on Atoro Island in. A little tropical paradise, but well, we'll see what we can make happen, baby.